if you press <laughs> hey everyone welcome back to dubious engineering i want to show you a 7800 milliamp hour lithium ion car tire or bicycle or motorbike tire air pump and phone charger and torch <laughs> programmable so you can set when you want it to turn off um yeah it's uh n music i tell you what <laughs> it's not bad actually i didn't have a problem with a tire but i did want to test this so let me just go ahead and show you how i use this to pump up my tire it's really quite easy so the first thing i did was clearly unscrew the valve cap uh, and then check the tire pressure to make sure it's at about 46, 47. So I use an independent gauge. I have a little analog gauge that I like to use. Using my finger, I then let about 10 PSI out of the tire and double checked it. I then went ahead and opened the box for the car air pump, the CZK3660 by NUSIC. I attached the hose to the NUSIC air pump. So I set the maximum pressure to 47. I plugged it all in, I turned it all on, and I let it go. So I took the air pressure down about 10 PSI. Ooh, gets warm. <laughs> yeah, gets warm up around here. Very cool. With my finger, I lowered the pressure of, uh, of that particular tire on my van and I got the pressure down about 10 PSI. It took this device about five minutes to pump it up. It's not likely going to be a linear response. It probably depends on how much pressure you're dealing with, how, how much pressure there is already in the tire. It'll probably take even longer. But on regular cars that are probably in the region of sort of 32 to 36, the likelihood is, is this is probably going to operate a little bit faster. But because I've got a big heavy van, my tire pressures are 47. Anyway, fact of the matter is, in about five minutes, this pumped my tire up by about 10 psi. So I double checked the pressure afterwards with my analog pressure gauge, and I'm happy to say that this is as good enough as it needs to be for government work. Not that I do any work for the government. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you get to use a manual and um, it's all relatively basic, you know, it's just a, a long press on one button to turn it on. It's got a backlit display there, which is quite cool. And then if you press, <laughs> you press it again for a long period, it turns it off. Um, I'm not quite sure how to turn on the light. Long press to turn this on and then long press to turn on the lamp and there's the led lamp it's it's okay it's you know nothing special Shing! on the back of it you can see a usb port for charging your phone and i think this is one amp five volt usb port output so you can charge your phone 7800 milliamp hours 7800 milliamp hours in here allegedly and um has a standard micro usb port on it here and it comes with a little cable which gives you the ability to be able to charge it up so there we have it ladies and gentlemen the enusic czk3660 car air pump you could be using one of these <laughs> God, this thing's awful. It's massive, it's heavy. Uh, um, uh, okay, admittedly, it's been very useful and it works. It's got a really long cable wound around it and uh, a little lighter socket adapter and you plug it into your lighter socket, into your accessory port. And you know, you have to trail the cable all the way around your vehicle. And you know, it sucks up your massive 12 volt battery. But, um, and that's the other thing. That's the other thing that this guy's got on the back of it here, which is quite cool. On the back of it here, you've got a little adapter for plugging into footballs and basketballs. And uh, then you've got another little adapter here uh, for plugging into, I don't know, various other things that you might want to inflate. Perhaps the autopilot in airplane or something along those lines. <laughs> well, I hope this has been interesting. Thanks ever so much for watching Dubious Engineering. Take care, have a wonderful week and weekend.
we'll see you in the next video. Cheers and beers, people. Bye for now. Sausage King of Chicago.